Okay, students, here is the step for the four-fold mirror image, okay? So we take the paper and you fold it in half, okay? And some of, your, some of you learned this as being a hamburger fold, but just fold it in half, okay? So it should look like this. Then set it back down and fold a second time. This time, you should kind of look like it's a little card. If you were gonna give somebody a card, you open it up, they could be like this. Okay, so there's only four folds. You're going to open it back up, and all you're going to do is draw in one of the quadrants. Okay, so make the line simple. You don't want something super little because it's hard to color in. So what I'm gonna show you is that you take lines that are big, and they can be curved, they can be thick, just don't make them super skinny or like so that you can see them on your paper better. You can repeat a line or make it a little bit different. What we're going to do is try to fill this area in with spaces similar to this. So let's say you wanted a teardrop or something, you could put that there. If you want to put a letter or some kind of thing as long as it's got a block letter look, you could add that. You want to make sure some of the stuff connects out of the paper also connects from one place to another. So see how simple these lines are? They're not difficult at all. And put one more here so it feels, feels like I filled the paper a little bit. And one more there. Okay, so that's all you need to do for that point. And then what we're going to do is we fold the paper back on itself. You need to put something soft under it. So like a folder or maybe a, a notebook. Put that underneath it. Take something like a marker that's closed so that you have something that you can press down on the paper. I can even see where my lines are through this printer paper. So all I'm doing then is taking the back of the marker or you can use the back of a scissors and go over what you've already drawn. Push down on it, almost like you're coloring it in, even though you're really not. So you don't wanna open the marker. Now what this does is it creates a graphite exchange so it comes to the next side of the paper. Let me see if I think I didn't get this one up here. What you can do also is you can make sure you open it, see what's happening. It's starting to transfer. So this is where you would finish that. Make sure you can see everything and then retrace it so it goes on darker. Now remember, you can stop the film at any time to catch up to where you see me to make sure you've got the right idea and what you're doing. And then, now I'm going to fill the paper the long way like the hot dog and I should be able to fill, finish the last two areas doing that same motion, just like we did. And then you're going to color them in and you will have something that looks similar to those. Okay, so you're just gonna keep doing the, the pressure on the paper. And it would finish this off. 